In this lesson, we will have a look at whether TLS backwards compatibility is a thing and how the version negotiation mechanism works within TLS. As we now know after the last few lessons, the TLS handshake starts off with hello messages exchanged between the client and the server. The very first message sent in a TLS handshake is the client hello message sent by the client to the server. The structure of this client hello message was kept compatible among all the TLS versions all the way back down into SSL 3.0. This means that all the peers that run any of the TLS versions 1.3, 1.2, 1.1 or 1.0 or run SSL 3.0 can receive a client hello message and then together with the TLS version negotiation mechanism that we will look at on the next slide can either negotiate a TLS version that both of the peers involved in the connection support or allows for the peers to properly terminate the connection. On top of this, the TLS versions 1.2, 1.1 and 1.0 and actually even SSL 3.0 have a protocol structure that is very similar. So implementations that supported one of these TLS or SSL versions should likely also offer support for the other versions. As we have seen in the previous lessons, the handshake of TLS 1.3 is substantially different from the handshake of TLS 1.2, which is now one of the reasons that TLS 1.3 is often not as easily supported by implementations as all the other TLS versions. Knowing now that backwards compatibility in terms of at least a graceful closure of the TLS connection is given between all TLS versions 1.3, 1.2, 1.1 and 1.0 and even with SSL version 3.0 and that the support for the newest TLS version 1.3 is often a bit more work for implementations. Let us now proceed into looking at the built-in version negotiation mechanism offered by TLS. The version negotiation mechanism built into TLS aims for the client and the server involved in the connection to negotiate the highest TLS version supported by both. Else, and in case the client and the server don't have a common TLS version supported by both, the built-in version negotiation mechanism aims to have the TLS connection between the client and the server gracefully closed. To now see how this version negotiation mechanism works, we just need to briefly remind us again that within a TLS handshake, the first message sent is the client hello message sent from the client to the server. Within this client hello message, the client then announces the highest TLS version supported by the client. This client hello message is then received by the server and we essentially have now four cases to analyze. The first case is the case where the client is simply too old in the sense that all the TLS versions supported by the server are newer than the highest TLS version supported by the client. In that case, the server will raise an error alert and with error alerts in TLS always being fatal, the connection will be closed by the server. The second case is the case where the highest version supported by the client is supported by the server but with the server actually also supporting newer versions. In that case, the server will simply accept the version offered by the client by replying to the client with a server hello message containing the TLS version sent by the client. The TLS session then unfolds under this agreed on version. The third case is the case where the highest supported version by the client is higher than the highest supported version by the server, but with the client actually also supporting this highest version of the server. In that case, and with the server receiving a client hello message announcing a TLS version that's higher than what the server can support, the server replies with a server hello message announcing the highest TLS version supported by itself. As the client in this third case can also support this older TLS version announced by the server, 
the TLS session will proceed with this highest TLS version supported by the server. The fourth case is the case where the server is simply too old. The client again announced its highest version supported in its client hello message. The server then realized that this version is too high and announces its own highest version supported in the server hello message sent to the client. The client, upon receiving this server hello message, then realizes that the highest version supported by the server is too old, in which case the client will raise an error alert, and again, as error alerts in TLS are always fatal, the connection will be closed by the client. This is how the version negotiation mechanism works within TLS.